Ashley Army, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about my accident on December 1st, falling on the stairs accident. Um, yay, clap it up for me! Woo! Woo! My first official broken bone on my upper part of my body. Um, so yeah, that was really, really scary. So I'm going to just talk about what happened. Um, if you're wondering where I am, I'm in my basement, um, in my new room. So, yeah, basically what happened, I think, um, and I'll tell you what the EMT spot, I, f I think what happened to me is I was wearing these, like, little, I'll sh have to show you in uh, another vlog or something one day. Actually, I don't make vlogs, I'll have to show you in the video one day. Um, but the socks I was wearing, um, are the really, really thin ones that girls wear that are low cut to your ankles. And I have, like, dog fur on the bottom of my socks, I think. And it caused my, like, right ankle to go out like this from underneath me. Uh, the next thing I knew, I was just falling down the, a flight of stairs. Like, I couldn't control it. I tried to, um, grab onto the staircase railing. To, like hold myself up or like catch my fall um because I thought I was gonna break my like spine the way I was falling and I was so scared but um I like luckily didn't break my spine um instead I landed um into the like cement part of our basement like at the bottom of the stairs is all cement it's all cement so my elbow went like boom into the ground and this side of my arm like that's where I like broke from here all the way down to my elbow broken according to the bone doctor like I thought I just broke like right here my elbow like the whole thing no I broke like this whole thing from my like wrist up high to my knuckles down to my elbow small fracture nothing bad bad but I'm telling you right now if you break your arm, like this bone, it doesn't matter if it's a small fracture. It doesn't. It hurts like hell. Okay, I screamed bloody murder like I was literally going to die. Because I felt like I was going to die. My arm, like the I can't even explain like what the pain was. It was so severe. It's like a fuck. It's just bad. It was bad. Um, What the EMT spot was my dog behind me. His name's Bruin. You've seen him in videos in the past, I'm sure. They thought he tricked me, but he didn't, obviously. My dad was telling me he was in his window seat in the living room. It's like a bench we have for him. And um, my dad heard me falling, obviously. So, And then he heard me screaming, so he came to help me because I was like, Dad, help, help, like, like, just bloody murder screaming for, like, someone to come help me because I knew I couldn't move. Um, I, I thought my spine was fractured, so that's why I was mainly screaming, but I also knew that my arm was also broken. That's why I was screaming, like, for those two purposes, because I thought my spine's broken, my head might be split open, and my, um, arm is broken, for sure. Broken. Um... But yeah, that's my phone down the stairs story, and um, the ambulance came, obviously, because my dad called my sister. She was away at college at the time, and she told him to call 911, and dad told me, do you want me to call you an ambulance, like, yes or no, like, how bad, how bad are you feeling, like, 1 through 10, and I said, like, 12, like, call an ambulance, like, I can't move my arm, I can't feel my arm, like, just all this stuff. I was like, I don't know if I hit my head, so, like, just call an ambulance. So, he did. And then the ambulance got here pretty quickly because my house is near the police station and the fire department and, like, all that stuff, luck luckily for me. Um, my house is not far from all that, the hospital and stuff like that, so the ambulance got there pretty quickly. My dad is a fireman, so he knew all the EMTs. <sighs> Bruin, just stay over there, please. Um, sorry about my puppy in the background. He's in his terrible two stage and he likes playing with his toys. So he's adorable. Um, but yeah, 
my dad knows all the EMTs are basically his friends. It was kind of embarrassing because, like, I have, like, 12 of my dad's friends, basically EMTs, like, surrounding me. And they didn't want to move me, but I wanted to move because I was like, okay, I think my spine is fine. And my head is fine. Like, my neck is also fine. Like, all right here was fine. Um, I didn't land on my neck. I slammed into the cement like a hockey player getting like severely hurt sure but like I was like fine like I knew my arm was broken and not fine but the rest of my body I could feel um sorry if I sound congested I'm just, I I'm getting over being sick that's in our shit show story for another time but you can tell I'm like literally sick still a little bit but um yeah it's bachelor night when I'm filming this so that's my story time, and then the ambulance took me, and then they made me wait until 12 a.m. to basically tell me, oh, yeah, your arm is broken. Like, your, they only told me my elbow's broken. No, they didn't say that this part was broken. So, I left with a cast, but luckily, they gave me a cast that supports my broken arm, too. So, like, when my, even though they didn't tell me this was broken, too, with my elbow, um, they gave me, like, a cast to, like, support the bones. So, I guess they kind of knew that it was broken because they did tell my bone doctor that I broke my whole entire arm, basically. So, he was like, oh yeah, you broke your arm, by the way, not just your elbow. And I was like, what the hell did he just say to me? Like, am I dreaming here? But I was so happy to get my splint off at the bone doctor. I was so happy. Um, I've never broken an arm before, so gr girls out there, got boys, like, let me know what those types of doctors are called. For now, I'm gonna call them bone doctors, because I've only broken one whole bone in my body. Actually, no. My ankle, I did break. But that does not really count, because this is more severe. <coughs> I'm so sick, I need to end this video. But yeah, um, bye Ashley Army.